lazy bots for smart people hi guys welcome to another episode of power automate learning series today we are going to learn about excel operation in power automate so these are the basic actions we are going to test today let's jump into the video for launching an excel we can use launch excel action we have to provide some arguments here first one is launching mode that is how we need to open an excel whether it is a new excel or an existing one so here i am proceeding with the existing one so after selecting the second option we can get an option to choose the file path so just navigate to the file path and select the required excel now i have selected the file path here and we can see some more options here like make instance visible if it is enabled then the excel will be in an open state and we can see the actions happening in there if it is disabled the actions will be done in the background same for advanced cases if there is any password for that excel file we can specify that here and if it is related to macro then we can enable the macros there in the advanced panel and the output of this action will be an excel instance which can be used for coming operations like read write etc so launch excel is completed next action we can check is attach excel for example if we have an excel in the open state we can attach that to our power automate for that we are using attaching to running excel so after attaching we will get an excel instance and we can use for our operations here we can select the document name if it is already opened in the machine we can see the file name in the drop down which is available in the document name field suppose if we want to change the variable name from excel instance to we can double click on that and put a name as per our requirement so here i am giving a name a second excel and click on save now we have created two excel instances now let's run and we can see that working yes in the variables panel we can see that two excel instances we can click on that by clicking on the eraser button next one is reading from excel for that i am going to use read from excel worksheet action just try that in that we have to pass an excel instance variable since we have two excel instance variables it will be listed there so we can choose the required one i am proceeding with the second one next is retrieval mode in power automate we have three retrieval modes first one is from a single cell then from a range of cells and finally from a selection actually we can start with the single cell so the board will read a single cell and retrieve its data for that we need to specify a cell address we can create a cell address using a column and its row number so i am choosing the column as a and row number as 2 and the output variable name will be excel data click on save and run the code we can see the output at the wait flow variable section that is 1 you can check the excel also the value at a2 is 1 from that we can understand the reading is working fine now we need to check another methods of reading so i am changing the retrieval method to a range of cells 
in this case we need to specify an end cell address also for that i am providing an end column as b and end row as 3 so that will get data from a2 to b3 click on save and run and in the output panel we can see two rows and two columns let's open that to see the values yes we got two rows here let's check the values a2 to b3 so the values are correct that one is also working fine move to the next method and changing the retrieval mode to the selection in this case we don't need to specify a range or any address because that is completely depending on the selection in that corresponding excel file so if we have any data selected in the excel file that will return data otherwise it will return nothing so if we check this output here there is no data available so what we will do is we will take the excel and select some columns and run the board again so we can see the values after running so i have disabled the low and excel and then selecting some values for displaying i have selected two rows and two columns then run now we can see the output two rows and two columns which is same from the selection and for that excel That's about that retrieval methods. Next one is how to write data to an Excel file. For that, we are using the same Excel instance and I am using write to Excel worksheet to action. Here we need to specify the Excel instance. I am proceeding with the second Excel and then we need to specify which value to write in the write mode. Here also we have two modes, one is to a specified cell and the other is to the selection. So I have selected a second Excel instance and putting a value to write as something like text and proceeding with the specified cell write mode then providing a column address a turn click on save and run that again now we can see that the board is successfully wrote the value in the column a turn so that's working fine next one is we need to write to the selected cell so we will click on save before that i will select some cell somewhere else that is f11 and i will click on save and run if we check the excel right now you can see the value on f11 that's also working fine now we have learned how to write and read from an excel file so next thing we need to learn is how to save an excel then only these actions will take effect so we are using save excel action and selecting the required excel instance here i am proceeding with the second excel and we have some save notes also here that one means save document second one is save document does the only difference is if we choose save document as we will get some more options like document format and document path in document format we can choose the format to be saved in which the file is get saved and in document path we can choose the destination path now i am just proceeding with the save document action and click on save and run the board to save the file that's it now the file is saved next actions are related to worksheet 
let's solve what we want now now we have one sheet with name sheet 1 now I'm going to add another sheet using add new worksheet so here also we have to specify a excel instance I am proceeding with the second excel and we have to provide new worksheet name here I am giving it as new sheet and we can select which position in which position the worksheet should come so I am taking the last worksheet then click on save run now we can see that in the excel we got new worksheet with name new sheet and there is our old sheet with our data that's for creating a sheet in an excel next tension is activating a worksheet so that we can perform operations like read on write from the selections in that worksheet for that I am going to use set active excel worksheet action so in that case also we need to provide some excel instance so here I am choosing the second excel instance and we need to choose in which criteria we need to activate the sheet so here I am choosing name and providing the required sheet name otherwise we can also specify the index also then I have selected the sheet one for the demonstration now after clicking save just run the board and we can see which sheet will be activated now I just click run and um, we check the sheet we can see the new sheet is activated so that's all about set worksheet activation next action is get first free column or row from an excel sheet we can use this to identify the last cell letters to insert data or performing operations like appending data to an excel or each run like that for that I am using get first free column or row from excel worksheet action and we will pass the second excel instance to that and as an output we will get two variables first free column and first free row for appending some data to an excel what I am going to do is I am just calling write to excel worksheet action again Here I have selected second excel for instance and the value to be written as new data and right mode one specified cell and the column address I am using find free column and for row address I am going to use a free row so the board will find the first free row and column and then write the value Now I am rearranging the windows for better visibility. Now we can see that the new data is written on G2 because the Excel is considering the column F11 as the last column. So the very next rows and column will be the first 21. That's why the board written the new data on G2. So we will clear those data and start the board again now we can see that the board returned the value on d7 as we said earlier the excel is considering that as the first table and the next empty column and row is g7 so instead of that we need to append the data just below the 5 then only that will work as an appending process so for that I am going to change the column as A which is the starting point of columns so I am hardcoding the column A in the field of column and row as first free row and click on save for saving that just run the board again now we can see that the new data is written in the A7 column 
that is our opening process and finally the last action we are going to use is close excel which is used to closing the excel application after all operations i am just uh, going to the activity then selected the excel instance here also we have some options like save and save documents and like that for now we will select the normal save and start the work now we can see that the excel is closed those are the basic operations done in excel do using power automate from next video we can learn about advanced excel operations thank you thanks for watching